I'm Shannon Atkins, and I am the music teacher at Baker Elementary School, and these are my third grade students from Miss Honaker's class. And we are going to be performing a parachute dance today with the song Pumpkin Bones. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna start with our warm up. Be my echo, please. All right, say this after me, please. Bones. 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 Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Bones. Pumpkin bones. Pumpkin bones. Pumpkin bones. Have you ever heard of? 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 Now I'm gonna put those together. I'm asking a question. I want to see if you can hear the question that I'm asking. Listen to the whole thing and when it's your turn, I'll point to you so that you can be my echo once again. Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Ooh, what was the question? Have you ever have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Anybody ever heard of pumpkin bones? Mmm, no. some people have. DJ, do you think you've heard of pumpkin bones? Yes. You have? Okay. Well, this is pumpkin bones. And it says at the top, what does it say at the top, Serenity? Wanted. He's wanted. Pumpkin bones. And what is he wanted for? What's he wanted for, Jordan? For the theft of all the pumpkins. So we're going to take this song today, Pumpkin Bones, and we are going to learn about the parts of a song. We're going to learn about the introduction, the chorus, the verse, the pre-chorus, and the bridge. So in the very beginning, their introduction, that's where you're not going to hear any of those words. The words that we just used, though, are going to be part of the chorus. Let's do that question again. Let's do it two times in a row, and let's use that body percussion like we just did. We put the have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? How many different body percussions are we using? DJ. Three. We're using three. All right, ready? Two times with me. Ready? And here we go. Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Now, I'm going to say pumpkin bones again. Pumpkin bones, pumpkin bones. So put the whole thing together. Ready? And here we go. Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Pumpkin bones, pumpkin bones. Then we ask again, have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Now, we finish the question with, he took all the pumpkins home. Because what do we say? He took all the, he took all the pumpkins. All right, so let's do that whole chorus part again. But this time, we're going to use our singing voice. My turn first. Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Have, Have you, you ever, ever heard of pumpkin bones? Pumpkin bones, pumpkin bones, pumpkin bones, pumpkin bones. Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? He took all the pumpkins home. He took all the pumpkins home at the body percussion. Ready and here we go. Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Pumpkin bones, pumpkin bones. Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? He took all the pumpkins home. Good. Now, we need to quickly make a circle because I'm going to get out something that I think you guys are really going to enjoy, our parachute. So by the time I spell the word pumpkin, I want you to be in a circle on the rug standing. Ready? P-U-M-P-K-I-N. Lots of letters. All right. What is this? A parachute. A parachute. You've seen this before, that's right. It's kind of wrinkly. It's been 
balled up in my closet, but I love to use this to show different parts of a song like we talked about. So in the introduction, we are going to use the parachute to walk around the circle and stay together. Can I scooch in here? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so everybody pick up one side of the parachute and it doesn't have to be your favorite color. Here you go, good. All right, so the fun thing, I know, the fun thing about a parachute is Yes, if you put it up high in the sky, you can see your friends underneath. However, bring it back down. You do not need to move your body. Don't walk forward because if you all walk forward, what happens? It will all deflate. Yeah, so we wanna keep it nice and tight like this. Now, the other thing, Samaj, we can do we can use our parachute to go different directions. We can go up like we just did. We can go down. We can go side to side. Now notice how when I'm going side to side, I'm not moving my body, I'm just moving my hands. Side to side, side to side. And it's nice and gentle, it's a gentle movement. Because when you pull too tight or you pull too rough, then it pulls the people on either side of you. The other thing I can do with my parachute, boys and girls, is I can go, I can shake it. Shake it. And stop. All right, so when we get to have you ever heard of pumpkin bones, we're going to lift it up slowly, and then we're gonna put it back down slowly. Hang on, wait for me. Okay. So the thing we need to remember, boys and girls, is we are a community of musicians. We work together as a team. So we need to remember to be respectful. Do not pull too hard or else it will pull the people on either side of you. All right, so speaking the words, not singing the words, we'll come back to our singing voices, but let's lift on. Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Now, hold on a second, I need that to be even slower. I want it to be a very slow movement. Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Keep it up there. So you're coming down too fast. So we're gonna go, watch, watch, watch. We're gonna go, have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Pumpkin bones, pumpkin bones, and then we're gonna come down. All right, ready, and here we go. Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Pumpkin bones, pumpkin bones, and then we do it again. That was great. Do it again. Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? He took all the pumpkins home. <gasps> Switch over to your singing voice. Ready? Here we go. Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Pumpkin bones, pumpkin bones. Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? He took all the pumpkins home. <gasps> good job, that was really good. Now, can anybody tell me what the word is before the word chorus up there? What is that word that is before chorus? Sophia. Yeah. Introduction, that's right. So on the introduction, we are actually going to grab just one side of the parachute and we are going to walk. Now, Jordan, you turn the other way because we're gonna walk in a clockwise motion. So that means that if Jordan was 12 o'clock, Jordan is 12 o'clock. We are walking in a clockwise motion. So you're gonna turn your body this way, Samaj. What hand are you gonna hold on to the parachute with? You got it, Baker Tigers. All right, so we're gonna walk and we're going to walk, we're gonna work together as a team. All right, ready? And let's do, let's, I'm gonna count to eight and then we're gonna stop. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. All right, now, the only thing is, when you walk with a parachute, you still wanna keep it nice and taut. So, do it again, but try not to walk, try not to fall into the circle. Serenity is tying her shoe. Do you wanna step out and then come back in when you're done? Hmm? You got it? Okay, all right. Ready? That's okay. Just toss it over there. That's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, you remembered. Now, we're gonna do another eight beats, but this time we're gonna switch and we're gonna walk counterclockwise. So now what side of the parachute am I, what hand am I holding it in? I'm holding it in my left. All right, let's practice it. Count to eight, keep it nice and take a step back. Take, take a step out, there you go. Keep it nice and tight. Um, turn around. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, y'all ready to try the introduction with some music? Yeah. Okay, hold on to that for me, and I'm gonna hit. Now, boys and girls, we're gonna do the introduction, and we're gonna do the chorus that we practiced. And I'm gonna have to jump, jump right in there. Go ahead and hold it in your right hand again and be ready to walk, guys. Right hand, clockwise. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Face the middle. Have you ever heard of pumpkin bones? Pumpkin bones, pumpkin bones. Have you ever heard? Again, have you ever heard of pumpkin Nice and slow. You're speeding up. And keep it down. To wrap, gentle, gentle, gentle. It says, what's the next word on the board? After the chorus, we have the, the, the verse. The verse is the place where we came down low. Boys and girls, when I say gentle, a gentle movement, that, is, that looks so much better and it feels so much better. So when we do the verse, I need it to be a lot more gentle. Stand up. Okay. We have just a few minutes left, boys and girls, before we have to go to the ballet. So I would like to go, I'm going to put it on again. We're going to do the introduction, we're going to do the chorus, and then we're going to do the verse. And this time I'm going to be watching to see if you are doing it nice and gently when we get to the verse. I'm going to see I'm going to see who I can catch doing the best job with working together as a team. Remember we are a team. All right, and I'm going to scoot you this way. Here you go. Perfect. Okay. All right. Ready? We're walking. We're walking. Sophia, step out, please. Step out. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Guys, when you are doing a parachute or you're doing some sort of dance, if you have to tie your shoe, it's not safe for you to do it right in front of everybody. You have to step out, okay? All right, I'm going to start it one more time. Two. Ready? Go. We're walking. Shh. No words yet. Here we go. Slow. Slow. 
boys and girls. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. I would like everybody to turn and I want you to look and I want everybody to say thanks for joining us at Baker Elementary School. Thanks for joining us at Baker Elementary School.